Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about. Do watch in the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today what I'm going to do is a share call a Cannabis Upcycled Recycled Wearable Art. Um, so what I've been working on a lot is handbags and purses. Um, I recently finished um, quite a few of them actually, um, just being di diligent about it. I want to show you today a couple of them that I'm working on that I'll be having finished to sell and also uh, one that is for sale that you guys might be interested in. Um, the reason why I show you these art creations is not to brag about what I make and, and to make tons of money off of what I create is to help inspire people to create, and especially creating when they're partaking of cannabis. A lot of people will just get so elevated and not do anything with that creativity, and it, then I feel like it goes to waste. If you're not tired and exhausted, at least you can do something to express yourself, to uh, find a way to heal yourself, because everybody on this planet needs some healing. And cannabis and art, can be very healing uh, tools for you on your spiritual journey here on earth um, for a lot of people so I'm gonna first I'm gonna get a smoke session going and then I'm gonna show you those items that uh, you may or may not be interested in I have uh, photos of these uh, purses that I'm gonna show you on my Instagram Facebook and Twitter and on tumblr too so um, Feel free to check out any of those uh, links in the description below and you can see even more photos of it better than what I can show you here on this video. So, um, let me see, did I drop my lighter? Let me grab my lighter and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So lately I've been using my hand, one of my handmade, hand designed uh, bamboo pipes. My husband actually created the structure of the pipe, but I uh, embellished it with uh, acrylic paints. Um, some nail acrylic, uh, no, uh, nail enamels, yeah, metallic nail enamels and rhinestones. So, I, yeah, I attempted to sell this pe this pipe, but never did sell. I tried selling it many times, so I said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna keep it for myself." It's badass. It's like a ritualistic looking pipe, made out of bamboo, decorated by me. Hey, I'm gonna just keep it for myself as a present to myself. I quite, I sold quite a few of those pipes, um, so. Um, yeah, there's another one I have too, but that one, uh, I'll show it to you if you guys are interested in it. It's slightly damaged. Um, I would knock off the price of it too if you bought it. Um, but yeah, I'll show it to you, try to show it to you before the end of the show. So, so what am I smoking today? I'm smoking on a strain called GDP. It's one of my top 10 favorite strains, actually. I love this strain. GDP is beautiful. Great for pain. Great for anxiety, great for crea creativity as well. So, that one dread's trying to come out. <laughs> I still want to come out because I don't want it in my eyes. So, anyways, cheers everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for all the support you guys have given me uh, throughout the years. I really appreciate that. Just thought I'd put that in there because um, there's a lot of people that feel like uh, that they're all alone out there and their medical cannabis patients going through a lot of shit and when you can share your problems and share what's going on in your world then you know you're not alone and share ways of healing and yeah so cheers to all of you Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a few more tugs. Get warmed up. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm still waking up, too. It's like, it's, yeah, it's still, it's still morning. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. <clears throat> All right, let me grab some of my tea. I have a few sips of my tea. Today I'm drinking uh, green tea. So, 
by Tetley. So if you're interested, some people are, get interested in what I'm drinking, so that's why I say. That's why I let you know. All right, let's get on with it. So here's one of the purses that someone already said that they want. Now see, this is, happens all the time when I put when I put photos up of works in progress. Then you get all kinds of people saying, "Oh, I want that. I want that." Tell me when you're done with that. I want that. And then when you're done with it, and you say, "Are you still interested?" In it? No, I can't afford it. I um I have to wait till next payday. When's your next payday? Oh, such and such day. Oh, okay. All right, I'll hold it. And then that payday comes up. Oh, I can't afford it. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's the life of an artist. I mean, there's been a while where I just wouldn't put any works in progress up online because of that and only put up final product, the final end result of what I've done up. But uh, <clears throat> that's what happens. And sometimes you look out and someone actually buys it when they say they want to buy it. So um, you never know. You know what I'm saying? So here's one of the uh, bags. And I've showed you guys this a long time ago. It's a medicine bag. And it's a doll medicine bag. I put um, some of my fabric dolls that I made, created, incorporated it into um, the bag. There's a green alien lady with 420 eyes. This is 420 in her eyes. <laughs> I was attempting to put THC on there. I have to perfect the C in it. and uh, But it's okay that it's not perfect because it's, a, it's kind of an abstract type of uh, design anyway. Abstract surrealism. I guess that's what you would call it. Abstract surrealism. I just made up my own category of art. <laughs> or does that exist? I don't know. I don't really... It's just fucking hard to like label art all the time, but that's what you do in order to get people to come and look at it. But basically what I have to do now with this, because I hand sewed it, this this bag is completely hand sewn, uh, hand embroidered. <clears throat> so I just have to finish the lettering on here. So that's what I do when I'm embroidering lettering. I will write out the lettering first and then embroider on top of it. So he's just saying highly elevated on there. And this is made completely from recycled fabrics. Um, there's a um, zipper on top that I sewed on top that I have to reinforce. Uh, but, but yeah, all recycled fabrics. Um, it's not lined, but it feels like it is because the lumpiness of the dolls. So if you wanted to put something that was glass in there, it would probably be okay. Because it's padded from the outside of the dolls. So... There you go. <laughs> so yeah, this is a neat little bag. I'll have this finished. You know, I thought I was going to finish it, have it up for sale today. But I'm going to be working on this one all day today to finish it. And then I've got the next one that I want to show you. Let me take another puff and then we'll get on to the next one. So I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. Um, and I hope it's given you some ideas for any projects that you want to do to help recycle um uh, all these fabrics that are all over the fucking place in this world. All these fabrics just end up in a uh, landfill. Seriously. That's what ends up happening. And a lot of these fabrics have plastics in integrated into them. So they won't break down. They won't. They just won't break down. So I feel like I'm doing my part to, to lessen that at least. So if we could all do that, then we won't have all that massive amount of pollution. So... Plus, it's just fun, too, to create something out of what people would consider trash. Create something totally new. A piece of artwork out of it. So, let me see if I find the other one. Ah, oh, it's behind me. <laughs> so here, this is the next one that I've been working on. It's a doll, another doll purse. I took one of my dolls that, um, I never even posted this doll, I don't believe, on my Etsy shop. But I just want, I liked it, and I thought it would look good on the on this purse because of the style of the doll. It matches with the lace <clears throat> and the motif with the skulls, um, the polymer clay skulls on there. And um, that's why I sewed her on there. And then I added some things to her, like this, these boots. Um, you guys might be able to recognize this fabric for the hat because um, I did a, 
a thrift store a haul where I showed this fabric and how excited I was to get it and at such a good price. So the hat's made out of that one fabric and also the shoes are too. <clears throat> All hand sewn. So here's the other side uh, with another doll on it. <laughs> this doll I tried to sell on my Etsy and it didn't sell. So I thought, well, why don't do something creative with her because I really like this doll. I hand painted it actually with acrylic paint so that's how I was able to get that texture. And the fabric that I used was a kind of a rough fabric. So I love painting on fabrics as well too. You get that texture and everything. The skull flower um, charm on her is uh, made from polymer clay. A polymer clay um, charm that I made myself um, <clears throat> and hand painted and everything. So the only thing I really need to do now is embroider the other pentagram on here. And pentagram is the sign of protection. And um, I'm trying to debate on whether or not I want to keep this flower here, this golden flower here. Because actually what this golden flower is, is a pin. Um, and I want to see if it'll stay on there. If not, it could be dangerous if it comes off, you know, easily. But I like the way it looks, especially with these skulls on there. And these are hand-embroidered, hand-sewn fabric skull beads that I made. And then these polymer clay beads that are skulls are also uh, beads that I made myself as well. Hand-sculpted each one. Um, there's some heart-shaped ones as well in there, as well as just skulls. And, yeah, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. This looks really good. It's a very fancy purse. Probably something you go to, like, I don't know, a fancy occasion, whatever it is. <clears throat> a wedding, um, what have you. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. And I'll keep you guys posted through Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook on the progress of it. Because that's mainly what I use uh, social media for, is for advertising my artwork. <clears throat> selling my artwork and to encourage people to um, be creative as much as you can so oh let me get up on here I'm gonna show you uh, one more thing and then I'll conclude this video for today I'm gonna puff some more of this GDP because it is feeling dynamite right now I'm loving it <laughs> and it helps to keep me pain-free stress-free so that I can focus on what I need to focus on. And what I'm focusing on now, so much in my life right now, is moving my artwork out, finishing the projects that I started and moving them out. Because uh, I have an overabundance of art and uh, <clears throat> I need to get it going out. And um, every time you buy something from my shop, or from me, not on the shop either, you will get a handmade gift, guaranteed. Because I've got a full bag of, uh, let me show you some of the freebies you can get. Oh, let me grab this bag. Oh. I've got a, a bag full of hand-sewn goods, like this lady here, this Amanita Mushroom Black Goddess here. See that? Or, uh, what else we got in here? <laughs> what other goodies we got in here? Or this one here, the snake, uh, red and black snake goddess, that keychain, and even what a really fun one, a dragon's claw holding a green eye. So, um, if you want, you could purchase these separate from uh, anything you see today, <laughs> if you wanted to find out how to buy them. But these are some of the, that's kind of the, the kind of uh, gifts that I give away. It's things that didn't sell on the Etsy shop. Not that they're not good or anything. They just didn't sell for whatever reason. But there's a severed, uh, severed toe um, keychain. So yeah, I've got all kinds of keychain type of things. Um, I think I also have a yin yang left, yeah. Which is in here. Take it out of the plastic. <laughs> it's hard to get out of the plastic. So here we go. It's this right here. A hand embroidered, hand sewn, uh, fabric beaded, um, yin yang symbol. Um, and <clears throat> I might be making more things like this. If you request it, you can also special order a bunch of these. Um, uh, a customer did 
like I think that was last year I made a bunch of severed severed toes um, per request and um, this guy they were in the style of um, the big Lebowski if you know that movie you know what I'm talking about the lady with who le had a miss had her toe cut off and it was a big thing throughout the whole movie anyway if you're if you're like not liking horror like stuff then <laughs> then don't you don't have to worry about it that's not all that I make I make a, a variety of different types of things of art and it's not all like scary it's a, a combination of different things um, but yeah a lot of uh, the stuff that I do have up there may seem to be a little too uh, I don't know a little too on the edge for some people but not for all so <laughs> It's not for children, that's for sure. My art is not for children. Um, I did consider doing having a separate like site or something to sell plushies on for kids. Um, to do something separate just for kids. Because I noticed when I put stuff like that up on Facebook, uh, a few times someone would buy it right away. Because people like to buy toys for their kids or their grandkids. Stuff that's safe, that's soft, you know what I mean? They can't harm themselves with. Does have any toxic chemicals in it? So, <clears throat> and no allergens and shit. So yeah, I usually um, I usually sell those kind of uh, works of art on like through Facebook or something like that. But yeah. Anyways, cheers everyone. I'm gonna show you my last thing that I want to show you and get going. I'm still like I I am not awake at all still. Am I? <laughs> Am I baked? <laughs> That's, yeah, kind of, but I, I could get a little more baked. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Cheers, and yeah, I hope you guys find this motivating and helps you to do some things that can help this environment. I mean, I know you, it's easy to give up, like, fuck it, the, the place is fucked, it doesn't matter. But while we're here, we might as well do something that's helping, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was good. I gotta take another puff, guys. Yeah, and I can't forget to show you the pipe that I said I was gonna show you towards the end, so. Alright, let's get to it. So. <coughs> <clears throat> First, I'm going to have some tea. Mm, all right. <laughs> now I'm feeling it. I was feeling it before, but now I'm really feeling it. <laughs> so let's get comfortable here. So this is the uh, Black God, Black Goddess uh, Pentagram Protection um, purse that I created. And you can use it as a medicine bag for sure. Um, so we've got the God on this side. Um, and this is the symbol for God right here. And then here's a goddess on this side and this is a symbol for the goddess. So, and I've got the pentagram in the middle. I was kind of like, man, this pentagram is totally off. You know, this part's like bigger than this side. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I like it that it's like different. It's not totally symmetrical. It's a little bit, a little bit off. So I like that. I like it about it. It makes it look unique. Um, I did what I told you guys I was going to do by, um, putting these beads on there. Um, I made these fabric beads from that, um, fabric that, um, I got from the thrift store that I showed you in my thrift store haul video. So you can check that out. <clears throat> and those turned out really good. I strung them on to a drawstring. So that's basically what it is, is drawstring. And I like to have, I like purses when I have, <clears throat> when I think it looks right, I like to put, uh, have kind of dangly feeling on the end of the purse. I love that look. <laughs> Here's the other side, same kind of theme, um, only this side, the fabric I dyed myself. So it's got a tie dye look to it, kind of a stormy, purplish gray color. We've got the god on this side, and then you've got the goddess on this side. And these are little fabric dolls, dolls that I made. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Little fabric dolls that I made that um, 
that I had a lot of fun making. And I've been having fun incorporating my dolls into the purses that I make. So next probably will be I'll incorporate my dolls into my clothing that I that I've been working on. So yeah, that'll be a fun project for sure. <laughs> so yeah, this one is for sale. So if you're interested in the Black God Black Goddess uh, pentagram protection bag, let me know. What you can do is email me. Um, you can tell me in the com. If, I don't know. Maybe not do that in the comment section below. Just email me, and I'll have my email address in the description below. So, <clears throat> but yeah, this one is for sale. It's uh, got a zipper on top of it. I put my whole hand, my whole hand, and part of my arm in there. Although my wrist <laughs> and hand is pretty small, so. <clears throat> but yeah, you can fit quite a bit in here. You could even probably put. Uh, it's kind of padded. I lined it, um, so it's lined, and it feels like uh, you could put your glass stuff in there if you want it, like a glass pipe, um, a small bong, you know your cell phone, your keys, uh, if you have makeup, a little makeup case in there, if you do that, um, yeah, and it's very sturdy, it's hand sewn, but just because it's hand sewn doesn't mean that it's not quality, um, it will not tear, it will not fall apart within days of buying it, and it's a special type of bag, you don't want to just leave it anywhere and stuff, so. So yeah, all of it is hand sewn, hand embroidered. So if you want any more details on this bag and find out the price of it, you can email me. And my email address is going to be in the description below. So yeah. So that's all I have for you guys today as far as upcycle, recycle, wearable art. Um, I'm wearing a cre creation that's an upcycle, recycle, wearable art creation. <laughs> so... Um, do it whenever you can. Recycle whenever you can, you know. That's all I say to do. Um, that's why I was going to show you that pipe. So, I almost forgot. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the pipe. So, this is the pipe that I was telling you about. It's never been smoked out of ever. Um, my husband designed the pipe design himself. I mean, the structure of the pipe and everything. What I did was I, uh, <clears throat> I uh, hand-painted it with acrylic paints and uh did i use that yeah acrylic paints and uh metallic nail enamels and i also um embedded attached rhinestones on there really well it won't fall off easily but you want to be delicate with these um it could come with the case or not with the case now this is what i was talking about a little bit of the uh the uh air on there or not era a little bit of the damage on there right here is a skull and some of the paint flaked off within uh a couple of moves that i had so um but the part that didn't flake off is on there pretty tough so um that's one of the i think that's one of the things on there that is a little off and then on the back the snake part of the snake came off but the parts that are on there are on there really well so um so it's up to you if you'd want to buy something that's slightly damaged, but not completely. Um, all the rest of the designs are on there pretty intact, so so yeah. But yeah, if you're interested in purchasing this pipe, let me know. Um, find my uh, email address in the description below. And if you wanted to have the, the, the case to go with it, it's going to cost extra for shipping. Because um, this case and this pipe will not fit in a small priority mailbox. So um, that's what I, I uh, mail this off in as a priority mailbox. And priority mailbox, a small one, is $7.90. So that's how much that one is. Um, I mean, not the pipe. That's how much it is for shipping, $7.90 for a small priority mailbox. And that's what I like to send them off in. Um, if it has a case with it, it'll be in a um, prior, priority mail box. It's a size medium, a medium box. And the medium box, I believe, is $14.35. So that's how much you call, you pay for shipping. Um, because it's damaged, I will give you a discount on, on what it used to be priced at. Because it used to be $45, bucks, so I'll give you a, a discount on that. So um, anybody interested in this pipe? Let me know and contact me via my email. 
I'm going to put some photos up of this pipe again on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and possibly Tumblr, if anybody goes there anymore. <laughs> and um, I'm going to have some photos of this purse as well up there. So, so if you're interested in buying it, uh, let me know before someone else nabs it. So, Alrighty, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you're doing to recycle fabrics. Um, canvas really helps with uh, creativity and helping people to stay creative. So definitely stay creative. And brightest blessings to you all. And I'll see you soon.